Hi guys! Hi. My name is James and this is my daughter Emma. She is 17, about to turn 18, and uh, I've asked her to join along with me tonight as we just kind of spend some time together with you guys and wanted to just kind of share a couple of things. One is uh, that um, we just wanted to be honest about some of the struggle of dealing with this uncomfortable, uh, difficult situation that all of us are in. This one right here is in her senior year of high school and it is not going at all the way that she had planned. She is turning 18 in May. She has a prom that probably is possibly not gonna happen. And she has a graduation that also may not happen. And so Emma, I was just wondering, like, would you be willing to kind of share with everybody, like in a real authentic, raw way, like what has it been like for you wrestling with all of the disappointment of how things are right now and how have you been reconciling that with your relationship with God and knowing that you need to worship him, but maybe not necessarily always feel like worshiping? So yeah, yeah just kind of maybe talk about that. Yeah, um, it definitely puts a bit of a strain on my relationship with God in a way because this is like, these are plans that I've had and stuff that I've looked forward to all of high school and before that even and looked forward to. And so this was supposed to be like my year to be able to celebrate my accomplishments. And now um, a lot of the seniors, it looks like we might not be able to do that. And a lot of people are struggling during this time. So um, it just makes it especially hard to really um, remember that like he's got a plan for me and to believe that um, and not just say it, but believe that and trust that, um, that he's going to, figure this out and so as far as like worshiping him and stuff goes it is a struggle sometimes but um just putting my faith on God and saying like I'm putting this in your hands and like yeah you know it says like your will be done so yeah. what he's got planned like let that happen that's awesome I was never like this one at 17 years old trust me I was nothing <laughs> like this uh you're so incredibly mature just so proud of you um and you know, this is something that all of us are on this train that we really don't want to be on. And uh, we're not sure where exactly it's headed. What we do know is that uh, more and more people are being impacted by it. As a matter of fact, just this week, someone from our team lost their job. And that's really hit home for uh, that person and their family, as well as our team. We love them. And it's... Um, it's just hard, you know, and so I think it's okay for us to just be real about that and just to say, you know what, this kind of stinks. Uh, and, you know, in the midst of everything that happens in times like these, it's easy to become bitter. It's easy, easy to get a chip on your shoulder and to, to push God away. But God actually tells us that we're to press into him during difficult times, that in the storms of life, that he is to remain our anchor and our hope because he will always be there for us. And because of who God is and because of the ability for us to lean and trust in him, we can give praise to him in the midst of the most difficult circumstances. And so this song speaks to that truth and we wanted to share it with you. This is called, Yes I Will. Please sing along if you know it. I count on one thing, the same God that never fails will not fail me. Won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name.
fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy. Choose to pray.